In this video I'd like to talk about file types and templates. When you first open Solid Edge, one of the first things you'll see is the open recent area where recent files that you have had open will be displayed. You can always get back to this area using the application button in Solid Edge. This shaded area to the left is called the application menu and here you can create something new from an existing template or you can add your own templates and even your own standards. These files are the default templates. There are five different types of files that Solid Edge uses. The first one is the PAR extension, which stands for part. Then we have the PSM extension, which stands for part sheet metal. There's the ASM, which stands for assembly, but it also covers weldments. And then drawings in Solid Edge are called draft, and the extension for these is DFT. It's also worth noting that templates have the same extensions as the files they create in Solid Edge, whereas SolidWorks has different extensions for the templates. So it's easy to create templates from existing files that have all the correct settings. Let's talk about how you set up template directories. First we'll go to Settings and then Options. In the Options dialog we go to File Locations. And within File Locations, look for the User Templates area. By default, this is set to Program Files, Siemens, Solid Edge, Slash, Template. If we go to that directory in Windows Explorer, we notice that all of the folders here represent standards for Solid Edge templates. We can add a new standard just by adding a new folder. So we'll call this New Standard templates. This will show up in a standards list a little later on. If I come back to file locations, I can create a separate location for custom templates. So again, we'll just select the user templates option and go to modify. One of the reasons you may want to set up a custom template directory is that when you uninstall Solid Edge, that default directory will be deleted. So typically you'll want to have a custom template area outside of your install directory. And that's what I've got. On my C drive, I have a special folder for custom user templates. And I can select this folder to use as my user templates. Click apply and then OK. You can see I've got two new buttons here, but I'm going to use the one in the quick access menu because this has a drop down that makes things a little bit easier. This has a list of all of the default templates that you can just select very quickly, but you can select all of the available templates by going to the new button rather than the drop down. From here, I can select from the user templates, which were just added from my C drive, or I can go to the standard templates, which are from the directory inside the Solid Edge install directory. And remember that I added the new standard templates folder, which has its own templates within it. Each one of these standards has a set of templates that conform to that standard. So for example, ANSI, ISO, DIN, and others. Let's create, let's create a new ANSI metric part. We will cover the interface and what to do once you're in a part, assembly, or drawing with videos that come later on in this series. Thanks for watching.